Hi, this is Bo Sanchez and welcome to Success Live. And I am with, with great pride and joy. <laughs> I present to you the ambassador to the Vatican, Grace Princessa. Thank you so much. Brother Bo, the blessing is mine. <laughs> And, but, you know, I, we've known each other for years. Like, when Since did we 98. start? 98. No, you didn't know me then. <laughs> I was watching you at the uh, Camp Aguinaldo. In the feast. In the feast. Oh, my gosh. Saying hello to Daddy G and Tita Pilar and watching all the sisters. It's just watching. But then in 2008, yeah. I decided to finally say hello to you and introduce myself. And Wonderful. the rest is history. When did you become an ambassador for the first time? Ah, uh, God blessed me to be Philippine ambassador to the United Arab Emirates in yeah. 2009. Mm. Oh. And, and I was there. You were there. I brought you because of our common advocacy of money matters being mind matters. Financial literacy, you said, being an entrepreneur is what will make our nation even greater. Yes. So, you know, uh, Ambassador and myself, we, we sing the same song. <laughs> That's why I invited her in the show because she's a firm believer in financial literacy and entrepreneurship, especially for the OFWs. And, you know, uh, Grace, many OFWs are watching us yes. right now and so blessed that we can reach out to them. Thank God for technology. You know, true, true. We're able true. to reach thousands of OFWs all over the world, different countries from as far as, you know, Africa to New Zealand. Middle we, East. We're, we're just, we're just uh, so blessed. If you have any comments, you know, feel free to write those comments down. And uh, the, the, the other reason why, oh, by the way, tell people, tell your friends, tag them that right now we are interviewing the ambassador to the Vatican, but not not just like you know the ambassador as an official title, because Grace has always been an ambassador of the Philippines oh God, ever since. And country. Ever since I've met her, even before she received that official title uh, to any country, she she really loves the Filipino. She really loves the OFW. And uh, so we're going to talk all everything about OFWs. We're going to talk about family. We're going to talk about finances, of course. And uh, that, so that's going to be the whole topic. It's going to be an exciting show. And but you have to tell us first background. Background. Family, etc. Well, for those who have heard about me, known about me, I'm also called Nana Amba by our kababayans. Nana Amba. Nana Amba in the United Arab Emirates. I I was in. Chicago early on. I've been 31 years in the Department of Foreign Affairs, but I passed the Foreign Service Officers exam in 1986, and it's been a very fulfilling and challenging time. So this, they're, 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 they say there are two kinds of ambassadors. One the is political and the career. I belong to the career. Career. You so just 30, went up the, the. I just went up yeah, uh, from the Foreign Service Officers. For those there, children of uh, Filipinos who want to serve the country, I don't know who said it. If you want to serve really the Philippines, be a government employee. I'm a public <laughs> servant. So. <laughs> God bless government employees. Yes. It's a um, sacrifice and uh, yep, amen. And so, and from Chicago, I transferred to the United Arab Emirates. That's where I saw mga kapatid, kababayan, kapamilya, kapuso. That was the Sarah Balabagan case yes. with the late ambassador and then Congressman Roy Seniors. And yes. I really saw yes. na Umiikot lang po ang cycle. Maraming pera nawawaldas, brother Bo. That's oh. why I'm with a group now called, I think you heard me, Pinoy Wise Movement. Yeah. Wise is acrostic for Worldwide Initiative for Investment Savings Entrepreneurship Movement. A lot of, a lot of young people are watching us. Mm -hmm. uh, they do not know Sarah Balabagan. Balabagan. A, well, li a little, a little, a little summary. background. She was a 14-year-old Filipino Muslim who was, um, uh, how do I call it, who was... Not supposed to go out, but she was made to look uh, older. She went wow. to um, Alain, and the there was an East, attempt. Yeah. In in anyway, yeah. there was an attempt to uh, sexually violate her, and yes. she fought back, and she accidentally yeah. killed uh, the assa the assailant, and and, yeah. and that was that was the face. As, as we now have the present, yes. the present yes. issue, and I said, wow, this is. Me coming full circle, brother yes. Bo, that I've given my 
most of my career to the OFs. So I've been 12 years in the Middle East precisely because that's where we need yeah. to really have more protection. Yes. And that's why I also decided to really be an anai. Oh. To really understand all the issues, and that's why I studied migration in full. Talang inaaral ko hanggang ngayon. And when I go to the Vatican, mga kababayan, the people in Italy also have heard oh, me talk. Yes. I've oh, been yes. there. Um, where else? I hope to really be with you. Kung may pagkakatao na magsama-sama po tayo, imbitahin niyo ako. At if if the Philippine government allows, I'll be there to explain the sino ako. Ako ay Pilipino. Taas no advocacy that I have, and part of that will have. A Filipino that knows how to save and invest. And that's why <laughs> when I saw the evolution of Brother Bo from 1998 to talking about financial literacy, I said, wow, this is it. I love, I love the, you know, she's not just a government employee. She's not just an ambassador, just. She is a nanay. And uh, Filipinos all over the world, they really are looking for a nanay. They're, they're displaced, they're ostracized, they're going through suffering. And it's such a blessing that you're, you see yourself as a nanay. Nanay Amba. But Brother Bo, and this is where I start when I make that presentation. Not now, it will take me 20 to 30 minutes. But I keep saying, without the Filipinos, the world will be a darker place. We give yes. light to the world. Oh, absolutely. We are the ones in demand for the nurturing professions, the tender loving care that we give. Woohoo! So, so having seen that, I said, Hindi dapat ganon. Dapat maintindihan natin when we go out na mas kailangan tayo ng mundo more than their money. And that's why I like what Tatay Digong, our president, is doing. More protection. We should only, because if the world needs us more, yeah. then they should treat us well. Yes. So I said, if they are not protected, then let them stay here first, yes. especially the women. Yes. As you know, one of my um, advocacies is also against violence because I've had a, bi a past um, Can you share a little bit? A little bit, a little bit, a bit. Um, and my kids allow me. We we survived some violence back in our lives back then, and it opened me. Yes. It actually made me see poverty, uh, wow. abuse, and so I see that in our OFs. So that's why Siguru God really shaped me, Brother Bo, to understand all of this phenomenon and to see that one of the reasons why our women and it's now International Women's Month. They go out, it's really to provide for family. You suffered, personally, Suffer you suffered yes. marital abuse. Yes. Physical abuse. Mm -hmm. And now, years later, you can identify. God used that experience for me to understand violence. This is not to denigrate anyone, but yes. it's a silent killer. And it's a push for our women. Right now, our migration, out of 10 million Filipinos out there, Five million are lab labor migrants, oh. and more than half of them are women, precisely wow. because they want the Filipinas to take care of the. Ch I said the vulnerable, both the elderly and the young. That is a gifting of God to wow. us, and so the world needs us, mga kababayan po. Yes. But we just need to put it in order, and our president is doing that by making sure that the countries who want us, there should be protection there. there. Should be. Habang wala pa, uh -oh. let's stay here. And uh -oh. sometimes they're just willing to work for the equivalent of two hundred dollars. And we can have that as tourism assistants, as entrepreneurs, as the two hundred rich yeah. brother Bo. Yeah. And as I have said, we're a very rich nation, po, both natural, human, and cultural resources. So, if we get our act together, as our president wants, yeah. lessen corruption, yeah. stimulate the investment, the build, 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 then yeah. our our people will can yeah. stay here. But we need to understand migration, yeah. the full cycle. Yes. So I'm suggesting. From the barangay po, the barangay captains, the LGU should understand na baka may mga illegal recruiters, then there should be a proper pre-departure for the country of destination. Yeah. There's a post-arrival, there's an on-site uh, continuing education, then the return though. Because there's a social cost po, like we said. Minsan Absolutely. nagwawaldas, uh -oh. nagkahiwala yung pamilya, hindi oh, naman nakatapos mag-aral. For what? Yeah. Na hindi rin nakaipon. Oh, yes. And that's where you come in and yep. I come in. That will be one. The advocacies then po of Lolo Kiko or Pope Francis are migration, trafficking, laudato si, 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 climate, si ating environment because the planet yeah. is our home. Yep. So I will yep. be discussing that hopefully with our OFs and the interfaith, Catholic in an interfaith environment. I think um, if you're listening right now, you're an OFW or you live in the Philippines but you have a family member as an OFW or you know of an OFW, the the whole cycle has to stop. 
the vicious cycle of going abroad, earning money, and then coming Not home for vacations. Splurging, splurging it, it's all gone. And then, you know, after 15 years, they're still there. 20 years, they're still doing it. And they've not been able to. Oh, I'd like to. I mean, it's a joke, but it's not fun. My apostolate na. Pati apo na ho minsan pinag-aral. There's nothing wrong. Oh. Baka po sabihin, ay, si Amba naman ang ialam. Hindi po. Well, we just have to understand yes, yes. na walang forever sa abroad. <laughs> you can that's get true. killed. You can get disabled. Yeah. Do you have an emergency fund? And that's yeah. what we're teaching po. Pinoy Wise Movement, yep. Worldwide Initiative yep. for Investment Savings Entrepreneurship. It's already out there. Yep. There's a migration curriculum, bo, and we will hopefully partner. I want to um, to present this maybe to the Vatican, how yes. we can all work together, GO, the government, me, yeah. and GOs like you, the academic, the faith-based, to have models of of communities like the top 10 origin communities here with the top 10 destination how we can work together yeah. and the president has said so we should teach our OFs financial literacy I need I need to bring this out because yes. I know this is your uh, strong point and I'm, I'm gonna bring it out okay Grace and I believe that if you if you work abroad you should bring your family if you are alone you should come home. I mean, maybe not tomorrow, but yes. but like it, you can't stay there for a long time without without your family. Yeah. She is very strong on that. That if you're just a woman, and then your kids are here, your husband is here, and you're all, all alone there, don't okay. make it a long term thing. Okay, my master of study says, twelve years and below, kailangan po ng mga bata ang mga magulang, lalo na po ang nanay. Yep. So kung lalabas po si nanay, kailangan alam ng pamilya bakit lalabas at may plano po. Yeah. And that's why we have a financial planner. Yung tinuturo natin sa Pinoy Wise, ilang years ka lang ba? Yep. Five years? Yep. Mag-aaral? Yung dreams mo, yung bahay mo, yung ganito. And that has to be sustained, Brother Bo, yep. with, with what? Yeah. Well, if we can work together with that movement that yes. I have, yes. you know, supporting yes. na. Even during our feast. We can talk about yes, it already. Yes. The social cost of migration, we call it. What we need to do is to maxim maximize the gains, minimize the pains. And that we, that's where I am coming yeah. in, preparing yeah. to, be, to be a speaker, to, to explain yeah, to our Kababayans yeah. what yeah. migration entails. Yes, it has positives, but we have to minimize the negatives. Friends, if you're going to go and be an OFW somewhere else, and then you bring your wife, you bring your kids, Praise God. Then God go for that. it, you know. Uh, still, my invitation is find a way to come home, you know, and, and bring in your brain and your brain wisdom. Brain gain, I call it. Brain gain, not brain, brain. Brain drain. Brain drain, not brain, brain drain, but gain. brain. Bring it back, you know, all your learnings that you learned from Singapore, from UAE, from Australia. Bring them, bring it back, okay? But, but at least bring your family with you abroad. But again, I'm going to say this because I, I need to say this again and yes, again. Yes, yes, yes. If you're yes. alone, out there in another country and the kids are here the spouse is here you're all alone Tok please, so please. Mo ako. I've seen it temporary all. should only be very temporary come home as fast as you can or bring bring the kids if, or if, the family, it's allowed, if it's better. allowed and if the it's migration allowed. should be by choice yes. not out of a feeling of necessity yes. so you know the old the, 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 the migration cycle That's because right. sometimes na excited na hindi naman yeah. na plano we eh. oh, oh. paalis pa lang yung nanay tatay tay pabili ng ganito na oh, no. ate kuya syempre they they compensate yeah. because of the distance so ibinibigay lahat ng hinihingi hanggang hindi niyo alam po baon na po sa credit card loans yeah. indebtedness the six eyes that get you to jail oh. indebtedness immorality the yeah. social cost illegal recruitment um, improper documents, internet, but we also give three Fs to the world. Our faith, yes. we show love and family, yeah. fun, friendship and food, and photo and Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> na, ang saya nga, actually, sabi ko nga, kahit lukaan, nandun pa rin ang Pilipino sa pagmamahal sa yeah. pamilya. But kawawa naman po yung OF minsan, mga kapatid, uh -oh. Uh -oh. mga kapamilya. Hindi po lahat para iso sa labas. Final words, yes. uh, Ambassador. What would be your final word to the OFW or to the family who is here with their family member outside the country? Maging wise po tayo sa pamamahala ng pera para maging wise in tayo sa pamamahala sa pamilya. So, hindi po maganda na palaging malayo, matuto na po tayong mag-save, alamin paano mag-save, mag-invest, 
magtayo ng kung konting negosyo, kung may stocks, ano, wala akong, wala akong inaanong produkto, but the yeah. idea yeah. of coming home, because the best country in the world, the richest is the Philippines. But there's nothing like home. Absolutely. So, let's just contact Brother Bo and myself, kung nasaan po ako, and then we'll talk. <laughs> kung paano magagawa. Thank you. And our president is on board with this. Truly Rich Club is there for you. If you're not yet a member of the Truly Rich Club, you know, join us and we will teach you how to invest. You know, the, we just, uh, I just had a conversation with Rafi. Uh, we, you know, Rafi Nene is, uh, was an OFW for many years. A seafarer. A seafarer. And after 15 years, he realized he was going nowhere, you know. Money's gone after the, after the vacation. So he had to do something. And so he joined the Truly Rich Club and it changed his life. He, he began to learn how to invest and he began to be an entrepreneur. And now he has an upholstery business, he has fishing boats, <laughs> he has a uh, abalone farm. Oh. Would you believe that? Oh. You know you how, how much abalone is? It's crazy. Uh, what, it's really it a is, very, very it expensive very, uh, very thing. So the, anyway, just, just while I was just talking to him and I was saying, wow, this, this is the big why of the Truly Rich Club. We really want to help people um, grow in their financial life and be happier with their family. If you're not yet a member of the club, please go to www.trulyrichclub.com, sign up, and we will teach you how to be an investor. We will teach you how to change your financial destiny. We'll say a prayer together right now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, we pray for Ambassador Grace, and thank you for the gift that she is to us. We pray that you empower her. We pray that you use her to bless many, many Filipinos in the Vatican, in Rome, in Italy. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing and what you're going to do through her. We pray for everyone who's watching this show. We pray that you'd open doors. We pray that you guide and lead them. We pray that you prosper them. Thank you so much in Jesus' name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, guys. God Thank bless you. you. God bless.